Hello and a very good morning. Welcome to Idle World. I'm Hayley. It's great to have your company. You're joining us for one of my favourite hours. It is the Planet Cruise TV show. We have got six incredible cruises. There is something for absolutely everybody and the wonderful thing is when you book with planet cruise you know you can get all the extras they will get the flights sorted for you from whichever airport you would like they can add on extra stays so any questions please jot down the number on the website so you can always get in touch and ask well actually i'd like to do that but could you just change that for me and they are wonderful they are the best people i really do believe to book a cruise with but not only have we got the best cruise company we've also got one of the best gear guests as well guests guests <laughs> he he's been playing up i'm easy gonna say Perfect until then, and then you began to lie, and it just and the words didn't come out properly. I do when I'm lying, I start to stutter. <laughs> Keith, always great to have you with us. Lovely to be here. It's lovely because I, I love your background because you are, I mean, you've cruised a huge majority of your life, really. Well, see, I get called Captain Keith when I come here, yeah, Look it seems you. that way. But, uh... Is that because of your cruising? <laughs> that is because of the cruising, yeah. Um, for 12 years, I've worked in the industry as a cruise director, so I was organising all the entertainment on board, um, you know, kind of teaching people about the ports as we sailed around the world. And I've been to these ports. That's the so, wonderful thing. Yeah, I can talk, it's insider knowledge, so I get to share that with you. And I've been on board so many of these ships, and I know the industry really, really well. He knows exactly where to go to eat. Where to go to drink, where to go to eat, where, where to, to go, go to, to drink. drink. Yeah, but to honestly, drink. Keith, Keith's knowledge is amazing. And tell us a little bit about Planet Cruise as well. Well, we're the largest uh, UK independent cruise operator. We're not affiliated to any one particular line. And that means, therefore, Fabulous. we can give you unbiased, brilliant advice. So we tell you the best particular cruise that we think would be good for you. Uh, the other thing as well is we've got a 96% customer feedback rating, which is Gosh. incredible. Everyone that works for us has either... Has even worked in the cruise industry or cruises regularly themselves so again all the information is literally from the horse's mouth and we can put you on a cruise anywhere around the world and we have a price promise and that is that we'll always match the same price for the same cruise on the same day anywhere and it's Which not just the cruises that you're going to see on today's show We've got a website jam-packed for That's them. it. So it's well worth going to the website and checking things out. Now, some things that we've got coming up. We've got the Yacht Club. Yeah, great deal with MSC at Steel 2. Um, the ship within a ship complex. Wow. Um, idea. It's an amazing, really luxurious experience. Uh, whereas if you want the top the top kind of luxurious cruise. This is definitely one for you. We've also got a cruise with me, a cruise with Keith in Norway. Um, that's all, that's We're giving that cruises. one away. We're giving that one exactly. Yeah. <laughs> cool, have it. Um, and it's great because because it's uh, going to be I'll be doing talks every that day. That would be fabulous. Um, I know lots of people are going to really enjoy that. That's yeah. Which I'm is really even nice. thinking about coming. That was that's oh, right, yeah. and you own it. And, <laughs> and then a great one with Oceania as yes, well. Yes, five star. Yeah, which so, is amazing. Really, something for absolutely everybody. But let's start at the the very beginning so starting with our first cruise we have got have a look at what you're getting here you have got a fabulous cruise here i mean scandinavian city and fairy tales from tilsby yeah from tilbury yeah this is a, a london the london cruise port which is really good because it's nice That's dead great. Centric, easy to get to um and look at all the options here this is the, the ongoing half price offer the big thing about this is that it's been extended this should have finished last week and it's only on until tomorrow oh wow so you need to get in quick because this is half price um, ha, it's, it's an amazing deal. And you only and need a deposit today, so you can book this before Christmas just with a deposit. And then, and then leave it, you know, give it as a Christmas present. Imagine having this oh under my. the tree. It's a half price offer as well, mm. and it is a, it's a new ship for them, isn't it? It's sticks with their new flagship, um, and again, a great, great itinerary on this, and an excellent deal. This really is half price offers in the cruise industry, quite rare. Uh, and it gives you overnights in Hamburg and Copenhagen, two amazing places I'll tell you more about in a minute. And look at that single price as well. You've got some really amazing deals throughout the mm. whole of this hour. So that gives you a little bit of an idea of what we're doing and where we are going. But who are Maritime? Well, we're going to see some great, some great uh, footage now. And uh, it's give you an idea. They're a British cruise company. It's a good oh, question, right. um, And they specialise in giving a very British, very classic cruise experience. It's, it's no frills cruising in this sense, where it's not all about rock walls and ice skating rinks. Yes. This is about getting back to the basics of what makes a cruise so enjoyable. About excellent service, about great itineraries, um, about the fact that you're going to meet loads of new friends because cruising is such a social experience, and about the fact that you unpack once and you see all these different parts of the world. Um, they specialise in great entertainment, whether that's from the deck parties out on deck where you get a chance to dance under the stars with a live band, or whether you're going in for the all single dancing shows or a, a comedian from the UK. And again, Again, a luxurious spa and just a chance to relax whether it's outside in the sunshine or inside in one of the many bars on board and a chance to make friends not only with other passengers but also with the crew. 
they're getting a big, big following crews from Maritime. And as I say, uh, this is the, the, the new ship, the Magellan, which is coming out next year. Um, only 1,200 passengers on board. So oh, again, wow, that would be lovely. It's not going to be over busy. You know, you're going to get a real sense of space and, and luxury as you, as you go around. And they really do focus, again, on that friendly service. Remember, no gimmicks. This is stripping cruising back to what made it so popular, what has yes. made it the fastest growing part of the travel industry, which is all about seeing amazing places, making amazing friends, having excellent food wow. around the world, and just, again, getting a chance to go into some of these smaller ports because the ship is smaller itself. And remember, this is your very last chance to book. You have got an extra week on this offer, half price deal, and it works out. It's just £67 per person per night. Yeah. That's crazy, isn't it? For, I mean, it's unbelievable. It shows you one of the big things about cruising is the value. Mm. You know, you're trying to get the value of this kind of holiday on land, you know, you just, is, is just, is just virtually impossible. It absolutely mm. impossible, and that would just be for your room. You wouldn't be fed for that, or, you know... No, or your uh, food or your entertainment's included. It's amazing. Yeah. So where are we going with this? Okay, so you're heading out from Tilbury, as you rightly picked up on, um, which is that, that, that London, you know, port, and then you're going out... Um, so ignore the fact it says Southampton yeah, there, it is Tilbury, okay, it is Tilbury. Um, so going over to Amsterdam, um, and you've got, you know, you've got a, a chance here to enjoy the tulips, the wooden shoes, the Heineken beer, and then see some of the history of this magical, magical city. Um, you know, famous people like Rembrandt and Van Gogh and Anne Frank, you can trace back and go to the Van Gogh Museum, you can go and see uh, Anne Frank's house, yes. which is well worth doing. Definitely, oh, take a, definitely take a canal cruise. There are the big ones, you saw a picture of them there, but I recommend uh, going through to Boomtown Chicago, which is in Melitersplein, and, and doing one there, which only 12 people can go on. Right. You get to choose where you go. And again, the big thing about this is, it is there's 1,280 bridges in Amsterdam. It's amazing. And many of them are illuminated by fairy lights at night. Oh, wow. You can hire a bike, maybe use map bike and get out of the That's what around. I would want to do, yeah. I always do that. I go to Amsterdam every year. I love it. It's a beautiful city. And this is what you get when you hit the countryside. Uh, Bondel Park, Ooster Park, great places um, for you to go and enjoy this amazing, friendly city. Okay. Then we're going to Hamburg. Right. We've got an overnight here. This is a magical city. It's the gateway to Berlin. It's a great chance for you to go in um, and to see uh, everything that you, that you you know that you want to with Berlin. The sense of the history, you know, uh, Checkpoint Charlie. However, Hamburg itself is an amazing place. It's one of the biggest port cities in the world. It actually has 2,100 bridges itself, which is oh more gosh. than Venice and Amsterdam combined. It dates back to the 9th century. It's got a gorgeous old Gothic quarter. Uh, it's the third largest port in the world after London and New York. The Reaper Balm is where you want to go if you want to have a party, do some great shopping. The Beatles started their international career here. And the Baroque Church, the signature Hamburg, uh, landmark of Hamburg, St. Michael's, is definitely worth seeing. And I would say for you, Hayley, it's all about shopping. It really, really Absolutely. is. Absolutely. The Venetian Quarter is amazing for shopping. OK, let's move on. From Hamburg, we're going now through the Kiel Canal Transit. This runs for 61 miles. Uh, it's beautiful. It links the North Sea with the Baltic. It took 9,000 workers eight years to build and Gosh. officially opened in 1895. It's brilliant. About 40,000 vessels a year pass through it. It's a great chance for you to go through people's back gardens and wave at locals on bikes. <laughs> it's just really, really nice. It's, it's a nice thing to do, and it's quite a quirky, uh, rare opportunity within the cruising industry. Then you're going to be going through to Helsingborg. Um, and this is amazing. It's, it's a great seaside uh, seaside port here, sitting on the shores of the Orisund, which is a narrow strait separating Sweden and Denmark. It's a great medieval old town there, with the Danish town of Helsingør opposite, which is the setting for Shakespeare's Hamlet. And you've got Kronberg Castle, where you can look out and see uh, this beautiful coastal place. And Sofilo Castle, you just saw um, some of the, some of the um, imagery there from the gardens in the castle. OK, let's move on from here. Uh, to Copenhagen. Now, right. Copenhagen is your second overnight of this of this deal, which Brilliant. is such good value. Look at two overnights. Again, That's some so of the good. best things to do in cruising. Um, Copenhagen, right. Now, a city of spires, a city where people set the pace more than cars. It's the Venice of the North. It's a magical fairy tale place where Hans Christian Andersen's Little Mermaid yes. is one of the big markers. I would say definitely head um, into the old warehouse district down called Nyhaven, where Hans Christian Andersen used to live, full of 17th and 18th century brightly coloured townhouses, restaurants and cafes and these old wooden ships sitting in the harbour. So I got my first tattoo, incidentally. <laughs> Tivoli Gardens is an amazing place to go for the flowers, for the, for the atmosphere, for the street performances. And if you want to head out to some of the many castles, Friedensburg is my favourite, set in a glorious part of an idyllic lake. Um, there's so much to do, but definitely try the open face sandwiches and uh, called the Smuddersburg. 
Oh, they're delicious. Top or a Danish pastry. Okay, <laughs> then we're going to go through to Elborg, which is a charming Danish medieval town bursting with Viking burial grounds and stunning views across the legendary coast of Jutland. Relaxing day at sea before back to Tilbury. Look at this for £529. That's the places you're going to, Hayley. Um, I mean, it's, it's absolutely amazing. It really, really is very, very, very good value. And again, a British cruise company, so it's going to be safe, um, secure, uh, friendly, welcoming, excellent service. And then back home to Tilbury. The map is slightly wrong, but you can see they're heading back home, but to Tilbury. You have got so, so much for your money, but you do need to book this now. It's deposit only. It's a half price deal. They've extended it just for a week, but it is coming to the end of that tomorrow. So do get onto the phones and ask about that. And of course, you have got such an incredible deal with that. £76 per person per night and really good singles on that too. But we're moving on. We're moving on to cruise number two. But what we have got coming up a little bit later on is Princess Cruise. It's one of my absolute favourites. Going to one of my favourite places, going to Mexico. So do stay tuned for that. But for now, we're moving on to MSC. Now, now we have got a collection of cruises, something for absolutely all and everybody. And this one has got a great collection of dates for a start. It is l absolute luxury and Western Mediterranean cruise. Yeah, this is the Yacht Club. OK, so this is a ship within a ship. This is an amazing chance. You're going to get with this £400. That's £400 on board spend per cabin. You can use That's that so you know, for maybe alcoholic drinks or for massages or to go shopping with or to book a tour. Um, you've got great flights there from London Gatwick with BA, British Airways. Um, it's all inclusive in yacht club areas. They've got your own bar, your own restaurant, um, amazing butler service. So it's like you've got a yacht in this ship sort oh, of thing. You've got all yeah. these areas for you. Yeah, you've got, it's like you've having got a penthouse. Areas, areas of the ship that only you can go to. Fabulous. And you can access the whole of the ship. Wow. You're seeing here some of the exclusive <gasps> services here. Um, the concierge that will book tours for you. You can go private shopping. The top cell lounge, lounge there where you can just sit. And again, all the drinks there are, are free. You have your own private mini bar in your cabin. Again, all the drinks there are free. And the restaurant is incredible. They, they, they do a wonderful menu which, which actually goes through 18 different countries uh, in, in, in the Mediterranean. 18 different countries are featured in this, in this amazing restaurant. The Berlitz Guide to Cruising, which is the must, the must do and must read official standard in a sense for the cruising industry, absolutely raves about the Yacht Club experience of MSC. I mean, it is quite an incredible brand, and that is, it, yeah. this is absolute luxury. Isn't it is, it? it really, really is. So, we're going to have a look now at the, the video footage that uh, we've got here. Uh, and you're going to get an idea. Again, you see the butler's meeting you, taking red you on carpet. board with that white glove and red glove, mm. serv white glove and red carpet service. Um, it's beautiful. beautiful. They even unpack for you if you want them to. <gasps> no. You know, you know, they unpack for you. You get priority check-in and check-out. You get priority really all over the, all over the, all over the ship. Um, you know, they'll, they'll even clean your shoes if you, if you want your shoes clean. That is unbelievable. You know, um, the, the concierge there will book special tours. You don't have to just do the tours that everyone else does. You, you know, you get a chance if you want to have special tailor-made bespoke tours. It's like being royalty. For you. It is like being treated like royalty. Um, and again, with this, you also get private access through to the, the, the wonderful Aurea Spa. Um, and you get, uh, again, a chance to go and enjoy some of the spa facilities, all included in the cost and private out of hours shopping on board, accompanied by your butler. So the shop's closed, you don't want to go in where everyone else is. They take you down, they open up the shop just for you, and you get a chance to look around. Maybe you look for a special ring or necklace, you know, oh, maybe go and wow. get a shirt, uh, you know, a nice tie, or just you know, go and get yourself a few bits of duty-free. It's incredible. And again, you see there the, the butler escorting people in for some of the amazing shows. The actual suites themselves that you get included in this package are absolutely stunning. They really are. My old landlord booked this uh, this time last year and um, he came back absolutely raving about it. Him, and him and his wife, you know, all, you know, absolutely, you know, once in an absolute cruises. lifetime, isn't it? I know I wrote on this. I, there's always one that I put wow and I put wow. On this, so we start in Genoa first of all. That's right. Try some of the pesto and focaccia from Genoa. Right. Head out from Christopher Columbus's town, uh, right into Rome, the Eternal City. Civita Vecchia is the port of call. A couple of hours to take you through to the Eternal City. A chance to say hello to the Pope. A chance to see <laughs> the Trevi Fountain. Throw the coin in. A chance to walk through the Roman Forum. Amazing. The footsteps city. of Julius Caesar. To stand in the majesty and the might of the Colosseum and imagine the gladiators fighting yes. for the approval of the crowd. To, to go and walk through to Piazza Navona, uh, where they used to execute people in the, in the old days, where now you, you know it was featured in the Da Vinci Code. And in fact, you can do yes. a Da Vinci tour across I'd love Rome. to do that. Really great, taking in some of the sights from the book or the film. 
it's an incredible city. I always say to you, stand at the bar if you're going to get a drink or you're going to eat. Don't sit down. If you sit down, you get charged double. If you stand up, you get treated as a local and they don't charge you the tourist price. Brilliant. Um, the, you know, Rome really is an amazing city. And I always say to you, if you want to get away from it all, Villa Borghese, dotted with fountains and paths and avenues, right. uh, great oaks and umbrella pines. It's a wonderful I'd go back to Rome again and again and again. Just ma amazing. Sicily is next, Hayley. Okay. Uh, my brother-in-law's from here. Don't mess. I'm connected. And um, <laughs> Palermo is the port of call. It's a great chance. Now, this, of course, uh, is the triangle-shaped island at the bottom of Italy's boot. You know, it's a constant travel or contender, Sicily. Condé Naste voted it the, most, the world's favourite island in 2009. I'll give you the reasons why. It's got character, it's got the wonderful Mount Etna there, which is the tallest in Europe, the tallest mountain in Europe, it's over 10,000 foot. You've got this wonderful, fascinating mixture in Palermo of, uh, of East and West, of Christian and Muslim, of Arab and Norman. Um, you've also got the wonderful Teatro Massimo, where on the steps, uh, Godfather 3, that's where Mary was oh, shot. Oh, yes, yes. Papa, Papa. That all <laughs> happened there. You can go and see that happen and do your best. <gasps> Uh, impression that was my. Are you all right? You feel you feel important. I don't need to go to the toilet. That was my <laughs> that was my Don Corleone Your impression. impressions are so and good. And try some of the try some of the local ice cream, the Sicilian olive oil ice cream. Sounds Sicilian weird, olive but it's oil. Gorgeous. Yeah. Jot that down. Okay, next La Goulette. Okay, so we're going over to Tunisia. We're going to Africa. Uh, the senses and the, and the smells of the incense of the great souk, where you can haggle for a pashmina and see a flash of sequin head past. It's a great place. You know, um, it's incredible. Turmeric, cumin, uh, caraway, they oh, all infuse the signature scents of, of, of Tunis here. You get a chance to go out here to City Balsaic, which is their version of Santorini, clinging to the cliffs. It's great. You've got the Roman ruins of Carthage that you're seeing imagery here to go and see as well but for me it's just all about heading out and bartering yes. and just experiencing this this culture which is so different and that's what's wonderful about cruising you've got this amazingly different culture I mean you come back at night to the safety the familiarity uh, of, of, of your cabin that's or, it. of your, you of your unpack table. once but you see so many different exactly. places different exactly. people which is just amazing it's a great way of traveling uh, okay, from La Goulette, we're then going to Barcelona, Hayley. Now, um, we all know this iconic name. You know, you've got Gaudi's unfinished masterpiece cathedral there. You've got some of the homes that he built, which I recommend. You've got the wonderful Barcelona Beach. You don't yes. realise this, but actually, National Geographic said that Barcelona has the best urban beaches in the world. And I'd second that, definitely. Mm. Barcelona, about a 15-minute, 20-minute walk from where you dock. Um, you can head in. You're seeing here Park Goel. That's basically one of Gaudi's um, parks. Incredible, great views over the whole of Barcelona. You've got the new camp that you can want, uh, you can go and see the football museum. Uh, you can wander up Las Ramblas um, and, and, and go to La Bruquera, the wonderful market at the top yes. over 900 years old. Try some of the tapas. It's an incredible place. And of course, once you see the major cathedral, you can head out to see Montserrat, the holy mountain. Okay, we're then going from Barcelona through to Marseille. It's France's oldest seaport. It's great for walking on foot. Try some of the Boulevard, the French uh, stew, the fish stew, uh, and see the views from the Notre Dame overlooking the whole. There's the Notre Dame. You can get the petty oh, train yeah. up there, and you, can, that's, and you can get amazing views I over bet. the whole of this harbour port from there. Okay, back to Genoa. I do. And, um, and that's your... That's your fantastic cruise. <laughs> Bad jokes. These are all Christmas cracker jokes. I'm getting in practice for Christmas Day. You know. <laughs> They're worse than Christmas cracker Thanks. jokes. I, I can't, means a I lot can't to me. believe it. Just that one will be enough for the show. You really <laughs> have got something that is so different. It's going to be the most amazing experience. This is the Yacht Club. This really is a ship within a ship. Complete luxury and amazing prices for what we're getting here. Well, it really, really is because remember, this is now top end. This is top end. This is a, you know, these ships are brand new. Uh, uh, they're absolutely beautiful. Um, and you can go anywhere on the ship, but you've got your own private yeah. areas. And when you're in those areas, it is, it is completely all-inclusive to you. How and once you've tasted that? the food in that restaurant that does 18 different regional uh, qualities, you won't want to go anywhere else. So it really is something when you've done it, you won't want to do anything else. If you if you don't want to do the, the Yacht Club, though, you can actually book yeah, now the regular cruise too, pounds, can't you? Yeah, now for £429, pounds, you can get a standard inside cabin. Which, that's very good. It's, it's, I think it's under... It's, it's, it's ridiculous. It's under... Well, it was pounds, under £62, pounds pounds per, £62 per person. We worked per it out. Per night. That isn't all-inclusive, but you do obviously no, get your meals and things. You just take your drinks. You still got all your meals, all your, you know, all your entertainment, everything like that. It's a really that's good a price. That's a fabulous price. Don't forget what else we've been looking at as well, because we've had a little look at some amazing cruises already. Already. The Maritime Cruise was an incredible deal, and of course you can get that on the phone lines or you can check everything out on the website as well. Do make sure you jot the numbers down. So 0800 781 5458 or all the w's dot planetcruise dot 
co.uk forward slash cruise TV. But we're moving on now to one of my favourite cruise lines, which is Princess Cruises. Very close to my heart because my partner worked for this company. <laughs> oh, if they are. Oh, oh, you should have seen the that. face he was pulling there. <laughs> I know he didn't mean it because my partner worked on there for about six, seven years. <laughs> Hey, we'll another another funny you know. joke. But we'll move on. Let's have a little look. This is San Francisco. This sounds fabulous. It is. It really, really is. So San Francisco, the Golden Gate Bridge, arguably the most romantic and cosmopolitan city in the US. It's got everything. Colourful histories, superb restaurants, sophisticated museums, world-class shopping, and that mm. elusive air of romance and Gosh. abandon that's all part of a tang of this magical city. The wonderful streetcars that you can ride. Alcatraz, of course, the home of famous gangsters like Alcatraz. Capone. Um, it sits in, in San Francisco Bay and uh, it's a great place to go and visit. You've got the uh, Suoma and Napa Valley uh, wine country on your front doorstep as well if you want to go out and appreciate uh, some of those amazing wines in Northern California's most popular area. Uh, you've also got a chance to go to Pier 39, which is a hot spot for eating, shopping, strolling, soaking up the amazing views of Alcatraz and seeing some of the friendly sea lines. Fabulous. Hang out there. And you've got a two night stay here in a four star yeah. hotel, All which included. is great. Two nights in a four star How hotel. How good is that? What a great start to your holiday, this. You know what I mean? It, 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 the, the romance. And again, that's the great thing about cruising. It, it's, it can be, it's romantic if you want it to be. It's great for the family if you want it to be. And it's great as a solo traveller because you're going to meet people, you're going to make friends. It really is a cruise, is everything you want it to be and everything you can make it to be um, because there's so many different options and types of cruise out there. Right, now we're going to head on to board, on board the, the, the Princess Cruise ship itself. Yeah, we um, want to have a little look and show you exactly yeah. what it's all about and what it's like. So you can have a little look on board and then we'll run you through See, exactly where you go. We've had those two days in San Francisco. Now we're going to go on board the ship itself. So we're going to show you some footage of the ship. Um, here we go, Jonathan. 1965, with a single ship cruising to Mexico. Today, the line has grown to become the third largest cruise line in the world. Princess is known for being a bit of an industry innovator, because over the years they've introduced so many new features and experiences on board their ships that have been so popular, other cruise lines are now copying them. Among them are affordable balconies on many of the ship's outside cabins, as well as 24-hour dining, and a choice of dining venues and flexible dining times. Princess ships also debuted features such as Movies Under the Stars and the Sanctuary Adults Only Oasis. In the fitness centre you'll find all the latest equipment, plus a range of classes including cycling, pilates, yoga, stretch and abs. But if chilling out and being pampered is more your thing, then you might want to head up here, to the tranquil environment of the Lotus Spa. With a menu of dozens of calming and rejuvenating treatments, the Lotus Spa is guaranteed to be one of the highlights of your cruise. Throughout the day on your Princess Cruise, the chefs are busy preparing your next memorable meal. All bread, cakes and pastries are baked three times a day. All sauces are prepared by hand. Speciality restaurants include Sabatini's, Princess's signature Italian restaurant. The Crown Grill offers a variety of premium beef and seafood dishes. But tonight's formal night and I've decided to eat in the main restaurant. As I'm booked on any time dining, I can just turn up and eat at whatever time I like. Princess are known for their dynamic and exciting production shows with some of the largest casts at sea. Tonight we've got a 70s theme with Blame It On The Boogie. All shows are produced in-house and feature lively music and stunning choreography, featuring one of the largest casts at sea, as well as shows you can enjoy a night of stand-up comedy, a game show, a sing-song in the piano bar, a romantic dance, or just a quiet night with friends in a lounge bar. Something completely different. How about a movie under the stars? It's a signature feature of all princess ships, and it's a great way to end the day. So this fabulous ship is taking us away. It is the Cabo San Lucas. As you first brought a call, it's on the southern tip of uh, Baja California. It's Mexico's leading tourist destination, or one of the big ones anyway. Beautiful beaches, desert terrain, mountains. It's a nature lover's desire, uh, delight. Um, it's a haven also for sea lions, funnily enough. The lovely thing about things is you've got the Land's End in Cabo San Lucas, near where you dock, and the Lover's Beach. I won't tell you why right. it's called Lover's Beach, but here we are, <laughs> the arch. And there's loads of sea lions that kind of congregate oh, along wonderful. with the, the lovers on the beach there. It's great to go and see. You can go whale watching.
Uh, you can go and immerse yourself in the Sp Spanish colonial character and charm of the 18th century architecture of San Jose, the Cabo itself. And you can go sports fishing or just relax on the beach and soak up some of the sunshine. Great place to stop. And where next? Then we're going to Loreto, which is Mexico, an ancient and beautiful destination. This port dates back nearly 12,000 years, can you believe? It's very rarely visited. It's one of the oldest human settlements on this peninsula in California. Uh, great old cave paintings you can go and see. The Jesuit missionaries landed landed here, first of all, um, and, and they give a great flavour so you can go and see some of their missions. And they do a great thing called chocolate clams. It's a local speciality, and they pull them out of the water, but divers bring them out, and they cook them on the beach in front of you. And you see a local performance, like they're called Mexican Fiesta, as you Fabulous. chop down on these Mexican clams. Beautiful. I do love Mexico. Okay, and then we're going through to La Paz, which right. uh, means peace in Spanish, funnily enough. Surrounded by barren desert, um, beautiful laurel trees and coconut and date palms. It's unspoiled. It's an eco tourist paradise. Aww. Great again for diving, for whale watching, uh, for seeing these little mm, cheeky seals. So um, it's really incredible. And taking a boat trip out to Espirito Santo, it's known as the desert island, one of the world's best preserved uh, sanctuaries. 28,000. Acres of, of a kind of beautiful base. Really, really, really beautiful. That looks okay. stunning. Then we're going to um, through to Puerto Vallesa, which is in Mexico. And this again is on the Pacific coast of Mexico. It's surrounded by the Sierra Madre Mountains and Banderas Bay. Um, it's a beautiful place. Here the beaches really are legendary. In fact, John Hudson shot the night of the iguana uh, on one of the famous beaches here in Missa Malona, which you can go and see. You've got a dolph great dolphin adventure center if you want to go out and do something aquatic with the kids. You can go and discover the process of tequila making, which I recommend because you get to taste it as well, so you'll have a good day. <laughs> and you can head out to the Isa Marietas, which is a series of uninhabited islands where you get, it's basically a haven for bird watchers. Bill, Bill Oli would go crazy there. He'd absolutely have a baby. Um, brilliant. Or you can go zip lining through the Mexican jungle. Um, it's such a great place. And again, great just to relax on the beach. This is amazing value for money. Then we've got a couple of days at sea. And back to San Francisco. Wow. Yeah, a really good chance to explore the Mexican coast in a lot more detail. It's quite a rare opportunity to do that. So I recommend this. Again, on a beautiful I've, ship. I've never really seen that before. That is super. And the fact you start off in San Francisco and get two nights there as well. Yeah. You've got so much for your money here, haven't really, you? Really, really lovely, you do. And as you mentioned before, Hayley, you know, Princess are a fantastic brand. American cruise company have been doing it for many, many years. Great entertainment, great service. And Beautiful remember, ships. all your food's included. All that entertainment is included. Yes. The value that you're getting is second to none. And the service and the quality and the cleanliness as you walk around the ship. Have, you know. a, have a look at exactly what you're getting here. The pri I mean, price-wise, you have got an incredible deal. Of course, your return flights. You've got two choices of dates as well. We can sort out most of your UK airports, so do jump onto the phones and always ask about that because Planet Cruise are able to nearly always sort that out for you. And a very good upgrade as well. Only £50 per person from an interior to an ocean view. That's fabulous. Really great. And again, that's great because you're going to be sailing along the coast. Um, you know, you're going past these beautiful places like, like the Arch there in Cabo San Lucas and sailing into and out of San Francisco. Can you imagine having that, uh, for, you know, looking through the window of your cabin and experiencing that? Um, it really, really is incredible. Now check out all the prices that you've got here for the two dates. Have got some really incredible deals. 13 nights, remember, and two nights day in France, San Francisco as well. So easy to jump onto the phones or just jump onto the website as well. Do stay in touch with us too because Planet Cruise Show is all about you talking to us, us knowing exactly what you like, where you are, where you've been. So there's various different ways as well to stay in touch with us. And we always like you to do that, don't we, Keith? It is. And I mean, the great thing, we love you to get in touch with us. We really, really do. So do check out our, our YouTube site. Do yes. get in touch via, via, via Twitter, at Planet Cruise, or by Facebook. We love to hear from you, and we regularly do. And if you've got any questions, just get in touch, and I'll happily give you advice or one of the team. Remember, the great thing about Planet Cruise, all the people that work for us either cruise regularly or have a background Absolutely. in the cruise industry. That's what we love about it. And Planet Cruise will be back with us next week, so a week today. So there's no show ch Tuesday, but we're back a week today. We are. We are. I just want to say a big shout out to, to Baz and Lynn Walker. And your, your, your son Scott says it's nice to have you back in the UK for a change. Big fans Fabulous. of the show, avid cruisers. Hello. They cruise, cruise all around the world. So um, <laughs> nice I wonder if they've the been UK. on the Oceania because that's coming up a little bit later on as well. So make sure you don't miss out on that one. There's so much to show you. But the next cruise, my goodness, it's flying off the shelves. Yeah. It's the cruise with Keith. Oh, I know. Baz, Baz and Lynn, I hope to see you <laughs> on this. Look at you there. I know, look at me. Oh, you look like you're off Emmerdale. <laughs> 
Is that Emma Dale? That's a great uh, picture. Thanks. Uh, so that's, one my official, that's my official photo now. Very posh. <laughs> oh, we need that. So you'll be able to get a signed photograph if you go on the cruise, take some pictures with yeah. you. <laughs> but you have got, I mean, it is a fabulous deal. It's Celebrity Cruises as well. It is. Well, on the Eclipse, a... the award-winning Eclipse. Absolutely. Hayley, which just so, just, you know, Beautiful. All the last ship category just wins so many awards for best cabins, best entertainment. Five-star luxury. That. You've got free drinks because Keith is buying them all. Oh, oh and, and which hang is on, very hang on. Let's, of let's just remember this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is, this is an exclusive price that's on now for this. And it's six nine nine. You're not going to get this anywhere else. No. Nope. I'll be doing a cocktail party at the start. I'll also be doing chats uh, before we go into the ports. But you, you know, again, you have to book for that's them. That's great. You can just come along in the evening, and I'll do a and chat. And you've got about such knowledge. That's brilliant. You can you tell got, people exactly spent, where to I go. Spent if you months have any in Norway. I love, I love, Fabulous. I love celebrity brand. I love Norway. Um, and look at this. You get a free drinks package. You see, I said you were buying the drinks. And either free tips or free on board spend when booking <laughs> Ocean View or above. That's brilliant. And free car parking when booking a balcony or above. Fabulous. So loads and loads of reasons to get this book to up fabulous deal as well so let's see there on may the 9th and you can see that drinks package is really yeah, good i mean it's really really good look at that all speciality teas and coffees you've got selected beers spot, uh, spirits and wines and cocktails Great selection of alcoholic beverages in the speciality bars and restaurants and a 15% discount on all wines by the bottle purchased on board. Now you'll think that Keith is always on this ship because we've got a little bit of film of you and I you're do, on the ship. I'm on the ship. Do you live there? I, 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 I would like to live there. It's nice. <laughs> Absolutely. I'd like to live there as well. No, we're not meaning with Keith. Have a little look <laughs> at this and see what Keith on the cruise that you're going to be going on soon. Launched in 2010 by around the world English yachtswoman Emma Ponting, the multi-award winning Celebrity Eclipse is one of the most beautiful and well-designed ships I've ever had the pleasure of sailing on. She offers cruisers the very latest in comfort and innovation in a sophisticated and stylish manner. Each one of Eclipse's 12 bars has its own unique feel. You can enjoy the romance of a sail away from the grassy knolls of a sunset bar off on the lawn club, or try a new wine or two at Cellar Masters. Cocktail lovers will adore the oodles of choice at the very special Mixology Bar, but if you really want my advice, then you must join the fun here at the Martini Ice Bar. Amazing cocktails, tasty caviar, and juggling bartenders. There are 10 amazing restaurants to choose from, so as you cruise around the world, so do your taste buds. You can dive into a delicious plate of true rustic Italian cuisine at the Tuscan Grill, devour a plate of filet mignon in the French themed and Michelin star quality Muranos. But for something that sums up celebrity in a nutshell, you simply must try cuisine. Cool, contemporary, and slightly offbeat, the menu presented on an iPad includes sushi lollipops, lobster escargot, popcorn fish and chips, and disco shrimp. Eating has simply never been so much fun. A celebrity cruise offers you a chance to stimulate your mind while having fun and even take home a new skill. Daily enrichment opportunities abound with hands-on art classes, Rosetta Stone language courses, engaging public speakers and even the chance to polish your drive or learn Zumba. But best of all is this place, the Lawn Club. Real grass, expansive views, live concerts, lawn bowls, croquet and of course the excellent hot glass show. The plush main theatre on board a celebrity eclipse offers cutting edge shows to rival the West End, Vegas and Broadway for musical theatre tribute shows and song and dance spectaculars. Why not enjoy some wine and cheese while staring at the stars during an alfresco concert on the lawn? Or take in one of the award winning European circus shows full of magic and mystery. All of Celebrity Eclipse's staterooms offer true modern luxury. The design is smart and fresh and contemporary, and they all offer a great range of sumptuous amenities such as fluffy bathrobes, deluxe toiletries, Egyptian cotton bed linen, and complimentary 24 hour room service. From comfortable inside staterooms through to these gorgeous suites, which feature floor to ceiling windows, panoramic balconies, and your own private butler. Such a popular cruise company, such a fabulous yeah. they're, ship. They're a five star cruise line, they're cool, they're contemporary, they're chic. They do it all right, they don't really they? They really do, and they've got mm. a great focus on excellent food, you know, mm. which means it's excellent ideal for Excellent food, me. service, <laughs> shows, everything. <laughs> yeah. everything. So you can watch Keith eat while you're on holiday. Join in, well. join in. That's yeah, it, you can there. sit with you're Keith. You're paying for the food to join in, it's great. Um, <laughs> so where are we going? Well, we're cruising from Southampton, so there's no right. worry about how Brilliant. much luggage you need to take, how many pairs of shoes or, you know, pairs of uh, uh, extra, you know, extra stuff. You'll be able um, to take all your false town. I will, <laughs> and then I get to relaxing, <laughs> don't see, thanks a lot. And then you get to Bergen, the first port of call. And 
and this the, the, the first glimpse of this beautiful quake town is the old Hanseate Wharf, which is UNESCO protected. These narrow peak roof buildings in various colours of ancient wooden construction. Um, definitely wander around there. It's really atmospheric. Then take the old funicular up to the top of Mount Floyan. Um, that's you can see that the Hanseate Wharf there. It's beautiful. And then from the top of Mount Floyan, great views. And then you can walk back down. I always recommend. I told Sean to do this. Walk back down. Yes. Take a breath of fresh air. Stretch your legs and head down to the fish market. One of the biggest fish markets in the world. An amazing selection of fresh seafood, which you should definitely tuck into before possibly in the afternoon heading out to the home of Edvard Grieg, the Norwegian composer, on the set on the set or the, say the set on, on the side there of Lake Nordas. Amazing, amazing place. Beautiful. And also try Skillingsburg cinnamon roll. It's a local delicacy. Right. But if you like sugar. Oh my word! It's amazing. <laughs> okay, Alicent is next. Um, now. This uh, was ravaged by fire in 1904, rebuilt in the Art Nouvelle style, uh, thanks to the Kaiser. And it's a medley of turrets, spires, and ornamental twists. It gives it a real magical fairy tale feel. Um, and it's a beautiful place to go and explore. I recommend taking the Petit Train up to Mount Axler. And from there, you've got great views over the whole of the fjords and the whole of the town. Uh, it's got one of the biggest aquariums in Europe, the Atlantic Sea Park, which is right on the seafront there, where you can go and feed the fish, oh, uh, feed the stingrays. I recommend that. Or definitely going out and doing the Trollsteigen Road over stone bridges, hairpin bends all the way to a troll wall the biggest vertical drop in europe oh my goodness it's incredible it drops off a thousands and thousands of foot and it's an amazing road trip okay then you're going into and this is the great thing about cruising around the fjords it's the best way to see norway it's the best way to see the yes, fjords. there is always it? something to see you are now going to be cruising get all the way through fjords all night and again it'll be light most of the time so you'll be able to see you won't want to go to bed you won't want to sleep it's so great. exciting before you hit garanga it's hard to imagine, and again, the photos, and I think I say will do this justice, how majestic this is when wow. you sail through that, when you oh. sail past uh, this, the, seven, the, the Seven Sisters My waterfalls and then the little Suta waterfall over there. That is a ship down there, okay? So you're getting an idea now of the size, snow and the scale of what's going on. That Literally, is incredible. You see these villages clinging to the side of the mountain, these little farms, like model villages. Oh. You are, that's a big ship down there. That ain't no small ship. That is no. a big cruise ship, and that's how it's dwarfed by the majesty of creation by the majesty of the fjords and I've what you're going to take see. My mom on this. Just arriving is going to be stunning. Then you're going to, wow. this is the Seven Sisters that you, you actually go within almost within touching distance and you feel the spray as you sail past. And then you're going to sit in Galanga Fjord itself. You can head up the local mountains. You can just explore the wonderful views of Mount Dasneba. Um, you can go again on a massive road trip around to the Eagles Road Bend for great views over the whole of Galanga Fjord. Or do what I do. Sometimes I don't even get off the ship on this pool. I sit on the ship. I have a cup of coffee or a cheeky cocktail and I look out oh, on this. Oh, just... I, you know, it possibly two just... cheeky cocktails because you need it because you just can't Beautiful. believe what you're seeing. That's a huge ship down there. Again, look at it. It just looks like a toy boat. It's incredible. It must be amazing. This is, a, again, a once in a lifetime. It's something we've all got to do. It's something I've got to do. I've got it to really visit is. these top, places. It should be top of your bucket list. Absolutely. Now we're going to Stavanger. This is a sophisticated little city. It's a great port to go into as your final one because it's a great chance to get all your, you know, all, all your little uh, Norwegian souvenirs like your woolly right. jumpers and your little trolls <laughs> and things like that. It's got the oldest church, uh, the Stavanger Dornkirk in, in Norway, a medieval church. It's amazing. A great section of different museums. My favourite one is the Norwegian Canning Museum because this used to be a huge canning area for sardines and and different types of fish. Great beaches and this, the Troll's Tongue. You can sail down this fjord, you can climb oh, up and you can be that person gosh. sitting on the end there. I've done it myself. Can you really? It's incredible. Um, this is this is what Norway's about. This is about the, these iconic pictures, these iconic scenery that you don't see anywhere else no. in the world. Um, it's and amazing. Look at this. This is Pulpit Rock. Okay, and again, uh, my dad would love. I'm taking my dad with me on this, and he, he's, he's a vicar, you know. So this is one place oh, I really want to take. Absolutely, you know, pulpit. This is the kind of pulpit he'd have loved. <laughs> okay, <laughs> and Bless. again, that's that church, that's Stavanger Cathedral. Amazing place to go and see and to finish, and then back to Southampton after a relaxing day at sea, enjoying all that food, enjoying all that entertainment. So many reasons to book this. You've got an incredible price. You're cruising as well with Keith, which will be fabulous. He'll be there for you. If you've got any questions, he'll be speaking to you every single more day. Every year, That's it. you'll see me around the ship. I love to chat. Each you port, get that you will impression. be able to speak about it the day yeah. before. So, and and Keith is there to spend his holiday with you, and of course his dad, and of course you've got a free drinks package and all the extras. So, well worth getting that booked up. And of course you can on the phones or on the website. But we do need to move on because we have got time now to show you the Oceania. Exciting. Oh, this Very exciting. is quite exciting. Have a little look exactly where we're going and what we've got. So let's have a little look. It's the Greek islands, which I absolutely love. Starting in Istanbul as well. But with 
Oceania. Yeah. Now tell us a little bit about the brand. Well, in 2003, two of Luxury Cruising's biggest names teamed up to create one of the best value for money options in upscale cruising. This is a destination intensive floating hotel experience with top notch food, superior service. It's a cruise line for enthusiastic foodies. It really is. Right. And you could have whatever you want, whenever you want it. Oh. Um, and it's value without compromise. The dress code, as you can see there, is country club casual. You know, it's not all this kind of formality that you might expect with cruising, but the class and the levels of service are up there. There are no children's programs in place with this cruise line. So again, it's an adult friendly, uh, adult friendly um, uh, experience. Brilliant. The ships are smaller, coming in at just over 66,000 tons, just over 1,200 passengers, so not many passengers for that size of ship. No, not but at all. But it's the cuisine. They get their cuisine in from their own private ranches, from their own private cattle farms all over the world, and it's served to you beautifully. There are six different restaurants on board. There's no, all of it's included. These are all top class restaurants with open sitting, and you don't have to pay any extra to go to a particular restaurant it's all included there's an amazing coffee the, co the coffee is by, by Il which is one of my favourite coffees the barista's coffee bar um, you have the, the, the Bon Appetit cooking centre the hands on Looks cookery at sea brilliant. they've got an artist loft where they have artists in residence that will teach you how to you know, teach you various uh, techniques with drawing and painting um, Looks fabulous, and the food reflects it? where you sail as well oh fabulous really, it's the menus reflect where you're sailing it's and incredible for, for us we love really nice restaurants and you have got a ship full of really really nice restaurants but where are we going? Okay, great itinerary this, as you rightly pointed out there, Hayley. Um, Lesbos is the first island of the Greek islands there. Mytilene is the port. Great chance for you to go and see where Uzo, basically this is where Uzo is the oh, most, really? it famously kind of comes from. So oh, you can go gosh. and try a glass of that. This is real Greece. Life revolves around the village square and it's a beautiful place full of picturesque mountain villages, cobbled streets and pastel hued houses set on pine and olive covered slopes. Okay, then you're going through to Turkey. This is, this is Kusadasi. I call it the land of genuine fake because you can buy anything there <laughs> when you shop but just don't believe it's actually real that rolex watch will be a bolex watch you get the idea it's an amazing place though bar to hard get some bargains and from Christodasi you can head into Ephes ephesus okay this is the magical classical city that you can see the library oh, of celsus where you can go and see the famous uh, um huge amphitheater where That's St. Paul incredible. preached the Ephesians. It's incredible. It really is an amazing place to walk around if you love your history. Uh, but again, Kustasi itself, definitely try the cherries when you're there. Maybe relax on a beach, barter hard, try some of the Turkish delight, try a kebab, go and get a massage in a hammam. A great place to go and enjoy. Uh, and there's Aqualand there if you are there with the kids. Okay, then you're going through to another Greek island. This is Rhodes. I love Rhodes. This is basked in more hours of sunshine than any other Greek island. Really? That's the Acropolis in Lindos. Many people say that's the best view in the whole of Greece from the top of there. It's uh -huh. magical. Now, you don't dock there. You have to travel down to it, but it's well worth the travel. And I would say that you, where you do dock is right by uh, the roads kind of old town and this is a fortified old, old town built by the Spitala Knights um, it's incredible it dates back to the 14th century it's got one of the most complete medieval streets in the world with finely chiseled sandstone you can still see the, the Knights coats of arms above where it is and this old town is magical it literally is like nothing you've ever experienced walking around it alone and doing nothing else will just take your breath completely away completely unspoilt it looks it really is completely unspoiled it's like going back in time yeah okay then we're going through to Bodrum uh, this is on the ancient city city of um, Halkinesis. Right. And so it's got one of the, the old seven wonders of the ancient world was, was here. It was destroyed in the Middle Ages, but that's the history of the area. Um, it's great for all your kind of windsurfing, diving, beachfront bars and great sea life. A uh, great chance to enjoy Turkish food and relax on the beach. Then we're going through to Crete, another wonderful Greek island. I love Crete. Affectionately known this port as Agnik. It's a lively holiday hub. I used to go in here every week uh, when I was with Thompson Cruises. Um, it's got a bottomless lake where apparently when the Germans abandoned in the Second World War, they sunk all their tanks into it. Um, and it's, uh, it's a great place. And round the, round the lake, you've got those great little places, tavernas to get, you know, tzatziki, some wonderful seafood. Um, you can go through to Knossos Palace, where the, the whole legend of the, the, the Minotaur and Ariadne. You can sail over to Spelelonga, uh, a deserted island, which was one of the last operating leper colonies in Europe. You can walk through Samara Gorge and head out through the White Mountains to the Libyan Sea. You can go and explore the Arcadi Monastery. It's an incredible place. Then we're going through to Santorini. Wow, what an itinerary this is. I'm Isn't just realising. I mean, Santorini is magical. Many people say it's the site of the lost city of Atlantis. It's a massive caldera, an old volcano which has blown its top and right. basically filled with water and you've got all these little towns b built uh, on the edge. And it's sugar that shot houses. is amazing, isn't, isn't it? it? It's, and it's sugar cube houses mm. with, with blue domes, Haley. Gorgeous. It sums it up. Take the cable car up, don't use the donkeys, 
do get involved with do, do get involved with um, just walking around, just enjoying the views. Absolutely. Um, going maybe relax in some of the hot mud springs in Kamini. Uh, it's a magical, beautiful this place. This is a Mykonos great is next. cruise. I know. Mykonos, wow. Iconic windmills dating back to the 16th century. Fabulous beaches. Irresistible traditional town called Chora or Chora, which was built to confuse pirates. Right. And that it will confuse you. But, you know, <laughs> but, but our, any of the locals will point you in the right way. You can walk along the footsteps of Shirley Valentine past Little Venice, relax on one of the many beaches. They're loved by millions millionaires and backpackers alike and try and find the local mascot Patronus the Pelican who has a full-time Greek carer that's, what, that's where their taxes go um, and we complain about ours sometimes but that's oh, where they go <laughs> full-time carer that's Patronus the Pelican um, it's a great island to go and enjoy and if you want to really ramp up your life and make it exciting go to Super Paradise Beach I'll say no more okay. then we're going through <laughs> to Thessaloniki it's a cultural corner of Greece I used to love this place we used to go out on a little ship called Calypso every week from here um, scale the heights of the Acropolis for spectacular views of the city or, or go through to the beaches of Helkadiki, the fingers of Helkadiki. Just walk down the waterfront there. You're seeing the end of the waterfront here. It's beautiful. Okay, then you're going to cruise the Dardanelles, past the Straits of Gallipoli. We're celebrating, of course, commemorating more to the point of the, you know, the World War One and the anniversaries there. Well, mm. Gallipoli. Go, uh, go, go past there, see the memorials as you head through wow. uh, to Istanbul. And then you're back to Istanbul. You can add on the two-night stay there, five star for only forty-nine pounds per person. That's incredible value, isn't it? You've just got to do it. Yeah. You've just got to ask about the add-on. Because otherwise, night you stay. won't see Istanbul properly. No, you, 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 you're literally five pass star it. You in need Istanbul. To put that, yeah, forty-nine pounds per person. Crazy. Incredible. Uh, the ship looks beautiful. It really does look stunning. It's it really, luxury. It, it's an incredible, incredible ship. Remember, we are looking, we are looking at a more inclusive cruise. Um, you know, the only thing you're going to have to pay for or, or get the onboard drinks packages for kind of alcoholic drinks. Right. But apart from that, everything else is is included, and it's exquisite dining, brilliant service. Ten nights you're getting free flights, and of course we can provide those flights from nearly all the UK airports. So do ask and do add on that two night stay because that is for absolute nothing and through. Free gratuities. Now, well. we also need to mention this is an exclusive to Planet Cruise. Yes. And it's just literally come in, and we, we, it's come in so quickly we couldn't get this on, so forgive me if I read some of this for you, but we've got a wonderful 40 night Bangkok to Istanbul uh, cruise. Gosh. On Nautica, which again is Oceania. It's a $500 onboard spend. Uh, there's a four night stay in Bangkok. Um, and you get a free upgrade from inside to outside and business class flights. Wow. Okay. It's incredible. 40 nights, that is. And that's coming in at £4,499. So get in touch, get on the phone, speak to us, check the website. Um, again, the team will be happy to help. But that is an incredible deal. Incredible, incredible deals. So if you've got any questions about any of them, do just jump onto the phones. But we have got more to show you because we're going to Dubai Fred Olsen, which I know is one of the absolute favourites, a ship that people go back time and time again because just that friendly feeling, just absolutely love it. And we're starting off in Dubai, aren't we? Sri Lanka, this is going to be fabulous. Yeah, this is great. And again, Fred Olsen, nights. known for their amazing itineraries. Um, you'll see seen photos here of Dubai where you're staying there first in a two, for two nights. Great chance to see this place where in the middle of a desert nothing existed 20 years ago. Now it's this, this futuristic metropolis. You've got the Burj Al Arab Hotel built in the shape of a towering sail, five-star gorgeousness, with these wonderful fountains. Uh, you've got the Burj Khalifa, the tallest building in the world. That's the sail. There we go. Um, you've also got a chance to go desert safari, see belly dancing, camel racing, camel beauty competition, um, amazing shopping. You name it, you can do it here in Dubai. It's a great experience. And, and definitely do try, if you can, to go and see some of the camel racing or go out on desert safari. It, it, it's the just camel magical. racing looks You're going to see the fountains here, the dancing fountains, okay? Um, and these part of the uh, the Burj Khalifa, uh, the, the, the tallest building in the world there. And they're done by the same people who do the Blagio Fountains in Vegas. So they dance and do a real show. It's a wonderful, wonderful spectacle. It, it's an see. incredible place. My partner worked there for one winter. It's, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. You've just got to go. You're staying there two nights. And then, of course, you're getting on board this fabulous cruise liner from Fred Olsen. And Sean is going to tell you all about that. Fred Olsen operates smaller, personal, more traditional ships. The atmosphere is welcoming and warm and you soon get to know your fellow passengers and crew. And although all the ships have their own distinctive personalities, they all share the same great comforts, cuisine and service that Fred Olsen are so proud of. One of the highlights of a Fred Olsen cruise is the superb cuisine. Their chefs are passionate about food. So you'll be assured the same outstanding quality, no matter which menu you choose or where you decide to dine. Now, if the sun's shining, you might decide to have breakfast al fresco, or if you're feeling a bit lazy, then why not just have it delivered straight to your cabin? Lunch choices are really plentiful. 
beautiful and on an evening main restaurants such as this offer a delicious and delectable five course dinner. Although fiddles and chips are generally more intimate in size they still offer a great choice of bars and entertainment. They also want you to relax and enjoy your holiday, not worry too much about how much things cost. So drinks prices are really, really reasonable. Uh, you may, however, wish to upgrade to their all-inclusive package, knowing almost everything is covered. So whether you enjoy having a, a cocktail by the pool or a pint in a traditional British pub, you're sure to enjoy your favourite tipple. Although the ships are generally smaller, with approximately eight to 900 passengers in general, they've got all the facilities and conveniences you need to have a really great time. So you might want to enjoy a, a bubbling jacuzzi or have a little swim. You may also find classes such as yoga or pilates in the fitness centre, or decide to treat yourself and be pampered in the Atlantis Spa and Salon. Delightful libraries, card rooms, arts and crafts rooms, gaming tables may also be available, and of course, great entertainment. Fred Olsen offer a really wide variety of accommodation to suit all different needs and budgets. You can choose from a balcony cabin, an outside or an inside cabin, and for solo travellers, special single accommodation is also available. All cabins, though, have interactive televisions, a safe tea and coffee making facilities, and they all have a really nice warm and cosy feel. Highest repeat bookings in the industry. That's Fred Olsen. Fabulous. There's a reason for that. Okay, they've had two nights in Dubai. You've got on board that wonderful ship you've just seen there with Sean. And then we're going um, over for a relaxing date at sea before you hit Mumbai, the home of Bollywood, that famous uh, musical film industry, the glamour capital of Italy, a city of stark contrasts, modern towers of steel and glass next to these stately stone edifices from the days of the Raj. Uh, it's incredible. It's the paradox of India. You can go and see the gateway of India where all the troops used to walk through. Um, you can go and see the haunting beauty uh, and the marble serenity of the Jain Palace and the Elephant Caves. And definitely, whatever you do, let your local taxi driver that takes you around take you to his mates, his best mates or his uncle's curry house and Brilliant. try one of the curries and see if you can with Dobie Gap. Oh, okay. <laughs> Relaxing day at sea uh, before you go through to Cochin, uh, again in India, a spectacular port city, a chance for you to go through to the prosperous and beautiful and magical state of Kerala, one of the finest harbours in the world with the, the massive Chinese shopping nets, oh. and a chance to go and see Fort Cochin and these wonderful elephant friends. Beautiful. Okay. Relaxing day at sea. Forgive me for being quick with this, everyone, but get, get in touch if you want any more. But we've just so much to fit in here. Sri Lanka's next. Wow. Gail and Sri Lanka. The southern province of Sri Lanka with endless beaches, with timeless ruins, with welcoming people, oodles of elephants, killer surf, cheap prices, fun trains, famous tea uh, <laughs> and, and amazing food. Um, then a relaxing day at sea before we go to the Andaman Islands, Port Blair, a remote Indian archipelago uh, where it's just full of bright and brilliant um, flora. You've got these ancient temples in the middle of a jungle, deep green, rain, uh, deep green rainforest, there's quite white sand and palm fringe beaches. It's a tropical paradise, it really, really is. Then a relaxing day at sea before we go through to Burma. It's only recently opened up. Y Yangon is great, you've got an overnight here. That, can you see the golden yes. uh, yeah, the pagoda there? That is why. This is a magical place. Um, you know, everywhere you go, you're going to see the wonderful Buddhist monks and the flavour of this wonderful magical place, which for years was closed off to Western to Western civilization, to our chances of going in to see it. Go and see a traditional uh, Burmese puppet show. Haggle with the merchants at the immense Scott Market and see that 76 carat diamond that tops that pagoda. And we overnight here on board as well, which you is fabulous. You do overnight. You've lots of chance there to go and see it. And notice as well, the local women embellish their faces with a beige paste. They do it on purpose. It's called Thanaka, and it's traditional makeup, and also sunblock in one. Oh, so if you see brilliant. them, it's not, you know, that is deliberate. But then we're going through relaxing date sea before we go to Kuala Lumpur, uh, the capital of Malaysia, a land of smiles. We've got the famous Petronas Towers, which is just incredible to go and see. You've got, this is one of the world's great eating capitals. Try the street food, because the street food will blow your mind. Boisterous <laughs> markets, ranging from fish and produce stuffed into alleyways. They sell everything from uh, cooked food through to inexpensive clothes or accessories. Head out to the Batu Caves, maybe, one of the most popular Hindu shrines outside of India. It's a great place to go and explore. And then a day at sea, a day to enjoy leisure, and then uh, back, of course, from Kuala Lumpur to London overnight. Of course, you get a two-night stay in Kuala Lumpur as well exactly. in a five-star hotel, Because once you've fabulous. got back to Kuala Lumpur, you've gone off and you've stayed in that hotel, and, and that's... That's just incredible. So, so you've got a hotel stay each end of this. It's going to be a, a fabulous places. cruise. You can see everything you get there. Do jump onto the phones or onto the website. Don't miss out on some of these de deals because they're not going to last that long. And I know last time they did a similar thing to this. It was the best selling actual deal they did. So do grab it whilst it's available. And this is an even better deal as well.
but we're not, I was going to say we're not alone, but we're not alone. We've got each other, but also we've got everybody on the phone lines. <laughs> we've got each other. But I believe we've got Alex out there as well. Alex, are you there? Hi there, good morning. Hiya, darling, you all right? <laughs> yeah, good, thank you. How are you? Very well, thank you. Are you busy, busy? We are very busy now, just before Christmas, as you can imagine. Absolutely. This is what we used to do before Christmas, is book a holiday. Exactly. And a, a cruise is the perfect thing. What is the most popular at the minute? At the moment, we've actually had a reduced offer now of Royal Caribbean last night doing the Greek Isles and Turkey cruise. It's uh, the Splendour of the Seas going on the 6th of June, and it starts from just 799 fly cruise for an inside cabin. Wow. So that's been selling really well. Uh, we've also got regional flights available as well, and uh, starting at 819 for the regionals. Brilliant. Okay, so that's with a different Royal Caribbean deal that we're not featuring on the show, but they can they can call up and they can find out more about that if they want to. Yeah, exactly. If you yeah? give us a call, we've got all the uh, de all details here for this one. So if you need any help with anything, just call, call the call centre. And that is the great thing. You know exactly what to do. You can book excursions ahead. You can sort out, you know, regional flights and everything, can't you? Yeah, it's fantastic. Like I said, offers like this aren't around very for very long though. So do give us a call if it is something that you're keen on. That's brilliant. Thank you, Alex, so much. We'll Merry let you Christmas. get back to work. Merry Thank Christmas. you very much, guys. Thanks. Take bye. Care. Bye bye. And they are all fabulous on the phone, so make sure you do jump on the phones and ask any questions. We've got so many things to tell you briefly before we leave, so let's talk you through the cruises that we've seen. We started off with cruise and maritime. Now you had an incredible...